Hey, welcome back to another video, folks. Thanks for tuning in again. Pleasure to have you along, as always. I know I say it nearly all the time, but I'm massively appreciative of it. If you've got a second, click the like button, smash the subscribe button. All helps us get found on, uh, you know, on YouTube, and, and that's the name of the game, isn't it? To get found a bit, spread the name, hopefully pass on some knowledge to you guys. Keep my brain active as well. Stop me going crazy because we're still, you know, in a lockdown kind of um, situation in, in Wales. So I still can't go to my normal work. So it's videos for the time being, I'm afraid. Today it was going to be a waffly one outdoors, but it's quite windy today and uh, it will mess up the sound even though I've got a thing. Did you know it's called a dead cat, the thing you put on a microphone? Never knew that until I started doing these videos. I've got one of those, but it's still, uh, still pretty windy out there, so it'll probably have an effect. So it's going to be rapid fire Monday. Now I know my videos aren't rapid and rapid fire doesn't really rhyme with Monday at all, but still it's going to be rapid fire Monday. The world does not really need another figure of eight video right there's a lot of them out there isn't there uh yeah i'm cringing a little bit at doing it i've done another video i'll put a link up there to like stopper knots and stuff because i've done that before as to why we might or might not use a stopper but i do get questions on this so i do feel it's kind of worth doing a video on it and it's going to be a figure of eight with a yosemite finish and an extra wrap there's actually there's not many videos on that so maybe it's worth doing we're going to do it anyway regardless that's what for more doing so I'm going to poke it through my harness as always. Uh, I go bottom up. You could uh, maybe suggest that going top down is a better way to teach from the outset, but that's habit and it works for me. We're going to start just by tying a normal figure of eight. I'm going to make sure there's no sort of crossings over and stuff like that, but I'm not going to fully dress it yet. And so we're ending up with a figure of eight knot there. It's not quite finished yet, but nearly. If I dressed it, it would be a perfectly safe knot because that tail there is bigger than a hand size, so that'd be perfectly safe kind of gets in the way a little bit, sort of, uh, being pedantic obviously, but I don't really want to climb with that there. So what I do is I do an extra wrap and then I tuck it down there, okay? And what I'll do is I'll flash up on screen a series of photos as well to, to show that step by step by step. Okay, so what you end up with is a knot looking like that. So it's very much like a normal figure of eight, except you've got three strands and three strands. That's the difference, okay? I like it because it leaves the front of the knot clean. So that when I'm clipping and stuff, it's great. It just, it's nice to use. That's all it is, it's nice to use. Not like um, anything super dramatic. It just feels nicer to me. The other good point is it's a bit easier to undo when it's been loaded, right? And most of my climbing is sort of red pointing, so I do fall off a lot and I do load knots a lot. So for having it a little bit easier to undo, it's worth it to me. Those are the two main benefits, right? You could say, and quite rightly so, that a, a bowling with a stopper, because that's what it needs to be a climbing knot, is easier to undo when it's been loaded. Yep, you're absolutely right. So why do I do this? It's because it's what I'm used to. It's normal for me to use it. So when I'm on that hard move, if I tied in with a bowling that day, although I know a bowling is absolutely perfectly safe, I would just think in my mind, because I know my mind quite well, that I'd go, oh, bowling today, and it would just be enough to put me off. Would that be the difference between sending a route and not sending a route? Maybe, maybe not, but do I want any extra thoughts going through my head at that moment? No, definitely I don't, right? So that, that's why I stick with this one, right? just an evolution of a normal figure of eight and I've used it for so long that it's just completely normal to me. Now there must be some downsides to it. There always is, isn't there? Well, potentially, uh, if you're using it at a climb wall or something, people might not recognise it, so it does make things a bit harder for like buddy checking anywhere, but in a wall specifically of floor staff wandering around, they might want to see a regular stopper knot on it, and that's fair enough. Their rules, you signed up to do whatever they want you to do. Some people will tell you that it's prone to capsizing a bit more. And capsizing is when something is ring loaded and it's pulling the knot apart. So it might go and clipped into there on a B lane, I'm B lane off there, for example. And I think probably because it's three strands rather than two, it is apparently more prone to rolling. I'll flash up the date, but because I can't remember offhand, but on my Facebook page, someone who's watched some of these videos managed to get some testing done. And actually, a knot like this, properly dressed and everything, the figures it rolled at, check out that Facebook post, 
and some th are figures that I am not remotely worried about achieving in normal climbing. Okay, so I'm going to stick with this. I use this for all my climbing, be it sport, trad, alpine, winter, anything. Uh, and I'm happy that that isn't going to capsize because I'm dressing it properly and everything. So make sure you do that, but make sure you do that with any other knot that you do as well, of course, right? So am I suggesting you change your knot to this Yosemite finish with an extra wrap? Absolutely not. Why not? Because of that thing, you know, if you're on a hard move or something, the last thing you want to do is go, oh, I normally time with a bowling, but today I've done that finish that Jez showed us, or, uh, and maybe that's the difference between making the move or not making the move, or even just having a nice stress-free time or a slightly stressful time. You know, have a go with it, see if you like it, and if you do, great, think about using it. But honestly, when people come to me and they've already got a tie-in knot that they've used for years and years, and assuming they're doing the right thing and it's safe and everything, I just recommend sticking with it. Honestly, I do. If you're, a, if you're normally on a figure out of the stopper, stick with it. It's probably working for you, isn't it? Is that stopper getting in the way and stuff? Well, I doubt very much it is. Does it take long to actually uh, undo a weighted regular figure of eight? Nah, not really, but yeah, it could be a bit of a faff sometimes, but you know, not long in the whole scheme of things. So yeah, honestly, stick with what you do, I reckon. Do fire away with any questions, you know the score, same as always. Do find that thing on Facebook, go and click on that. Find us on Insta as well, click that like button, smash the subscribe button, I know I've said that already in this video, but yeah, I can never say it enough perhaps. Ask those questions, more than happy to answer as best I can. Hope you've enjoyed this video. More videos coming up very soon.